Holy Moses, I have been removed. I've seen the spectre, he has been here too. Distant cousins of mine, lie, rob people who hate my kind. Holy Moses, I have been removed. Good morning, good afternoon, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. With me, your illustrious host, Khadija. You know, I really, really hate that I got to do this video today. You know, but I told y'all that these people be tripping. And I, there's nothing I can say about this. And I want to know what y'all think. I don't want to get into no kind of um, <laughs> debate. With YouTube, so I'm just going to keep my comments at a minimum right now. Let me make sure I let the two minute mark go past before I really go crazy. Um, <laughs> but I'm just going to give y'all the title. Y'all tell me what you think. This is the new Zealand weightlifter, Lauren Hubbard. Now she from the she from New Zealand, okay? And she done went to New Zealand and crashes out of Olympics after making history as the first trans woman to compete in a solo event. Now, I have no idea, um, you know, why she crashed out, but this is um, a very interesting story, okay? Um, more ways than one. This is totally unfair, first of all, in my opinion. Hubbard, who transitioned in 2012, was competing in the 87 kg category, right? And they say as long as they keep testosterone level the same as a natural born woman, then it's all good. This is the logic, oh, come on, from, um, you know, the, the people, I guess, to make the rules. I just feel sorry for anybody got to compete with. It's just insane. Hubbard, who transitioned, I'm sorry, in 2012, was competing in the 87 kg plus category but failed on all three attempts. Wow. She overbalanced opening weight of 120 kg on Monday night taking the bar behind her shoulders. Hubbard's second effort was 125 kg was ruled invalid on a majority decision by the referees. The third attempt was almost a repeat of the first ruling Hubbard out of metal contention. Uh, the third attempt, I mean, the 43-year-old who was well-backed to at least pick up a medal has been surrounded by controversy. She qualified for the Games after the International Olympic Committee introduced a testosterone threshold. But critics say that Hubbard has set a dangerous precedent which will do damage to women's sports. And I personally agree. Because, you know, I'm all for you know, being open, you know, in your thinking to some degree. But this right here, and somewhere you got to draw the line and say, now y'all can't do y'all. You can't take me there. There is no way. And I do believe that you should have a separate category. Oh, that is my opinion. I think it's anything else that you got to tamper with in terms of, uh, you know, genetics, testosterone, those type of uh, things, then, and, I'm fine if that's what you want to do and you want to compete that way. However, it is not fair for you to compete with a woman that has been totally, I mean, biologically born a woman and then erase her with, you know, knowing that you were born with muscles. Okay? To me, it just don't work. You just physically 
your 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 mass, your structure is different. And I understand that thinking has a lot to do with the way a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. I understand. So I don't have a problem with you if you really, really think you some way and you feel that way. And that's how you want to represent yourself. I don't. I don't. I really, really don't. What I have a problem with, though, is if you step over in uh, the woman's field, you know, and then beat all their asses and win all the races and then think it's fair. No, I would much rather to make it more universal and more fair. Could you in a league by of all your own? Just like the women is in a league of their own. They're not over there crossing and competing with the men. They shouldn't be. Because the man is physically stronger. His body structure, his mass is different. And I don't give a damn how much testosterone I take out of young. Certain things, like I said, you can't justify um, because of what you want it to be. You just got to take that L. Anyway, um, the new Zealand weightlifter, Lauren, she crashed out the Olympics um, today after making history as the first trans woman to compete in a solo event. The 43-year-old who transitioned to well, we said that. She took no questions after her ex and thanked Japan for hosting the contest for its role in what she said, making sports accessible, making the sport accessible to all. I'm not entirely unaware of the controversy which surrounds my participation my participation at these games. Well then stop. Quit you messing every guy darn thing up. As and as such, I would particularly like to thank the IOC for, I think, really affirming its commitment to the principles of Olympianism and establishing a sport that is something for all people that is inclusive and accessible. She overbalanced on her opening weight of 120 kg, taking the bar behind the shoulders. Um, Hubbard's second effort, again, was ruled invalid, and in the third attempt, was almost repeated at first, so that, she, that means you crashed out. Okay, the Chinese mountain, the Chinese woman, Mountain Li Win Win, broke an Olympic world record by lifting 140 kg in the same event, and looks set for gold. Um, she made um, this is uh, um, um, a Hubbard again. She made parting salute, but it put her hands together in a prayer and mounted thank you as she left the stage. I forgot about that part. But despite failure, Hubbard says she made history and there were many who feel that her participation sets a precedent that would damage women's sports. I really do believe that. I really wish that Jake, they could find uh, something better for you to do to express y'all. Because this one ain't it. She, she qualified for the games at the International Olympic Committee, and it changes rules to allow women to compete if their testosterone levels were below a certain threshold. Roe is save women's sports in Australia, told Radio 4 this morning, I think it would really be naive and ignorant to think that people will not take advantage of these rules to campaign, to, to oh my God, to gain a competitive advantage. You can't beat none of the men. And this is what the problem is. You can't beat them. So now you done took your butt over there to the other side to compete with them. That's what it appears like. And I don't know how I could even see it any way different. This person, I don't give a damn how much testosterone levels they done took down from you. You still just look like a man. You don't even, even all the women that are up there lifting the damn weights, you don't even look like them. We have plenty of examples of how far athletes and nations around the world will go to achieve Olympic glory. Hubbard, who is the daughter of fair, former mayor of Auckland, uh, Dick Hubbard, transitioned nine years ago after transitioned nine years ago after competing for uh, for New Zealand as a 20-year-old junior male athlete. See there? She first qualified for female weightlifting competitions in 2017 before securing her spot last year 
for the delayed 2020 Tokyo Games. Hubbard is not the first transgender athlete to feature in Tokyo. Football star Quinn is a key player for Canada's Canada's women's team. Although Hubbard has not spoken directly to the media since qualifying, she released a statement through the old IOC, which was read out in a press conference last week. I see the Olympic Games as a global celebration of our hopes, ideas, and values, and I would like to thank the IOC for its commitment to making the sport inclusive and accessible. The IOC cleared the way for transgender athletes to compete in the uh, Olympic women events without gender reassignment surgery uh, in 2015, issuing guidelines that required the testosterone levels to be below 10 nano. Oh my God, nanomoles per liter for at least 12 months before their first com- competition. There is now an ongoing IOC led review of all the scientific data to determine a new framework that would allow international federation um, to take decisions for their sport individually, according to the IOC. IOC medical Richard Budget said last week that it would be up to the each federation to decide on the rules. While after 100 years of promoting women's sport, it's up to each of the international federations to ensure that they try to protect women's sports. Science will help. Experience will help. And time will help. It's very interesting, y'all. Um, you know, because it, it, it is very important, I think, as evolving human beings, supposedly. You, you know, the 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 catalyst, the focus of life is to keep branching out. You keep evolving. We have evolved, evolved, evolved. So your thinking should also evolve, evolve, evolve. To a point where some of that old stuff that the way you thought makes no sense. Like for you to, to, to and, and in some ways, people were much more um, balanced in some of their thinking. Because, you know, so it goes both ways. You have some things now that are advantageous, and you have some things that from the past that you can still rely on that are advantageous. But the one thing that we should, you know, think is that we're supposed to keep evolving. Supposed to keep getting better. We're supposed to keep growing like a baby. He don't stay a baby. He keeps growing. Growing his intelligence level will get bigger, 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 bigger. And so is it for us. And you don't stop growing and learning and wanting to know new things because you've reached a certain age. However, you have to find some things that you get off the bus on. And this I get off the bus because I I do believe that if you were born a man, that you really, really should compete with other men. That is very important to me, that you compete um, with other men. Um, let's see. Um, I mean, I, I you know, it, it's just hard for me to take it any other way, you know. So, I don't know. Tell me what y'all think, because this is a little interesting, and this person... Even though they out, I just, <laughs> I just find it mind boggling. Okay, now, I don't know about this evolution here. It's gone a little bit too far because I believe what is wrong with having your own league. What is what is the objection to that? Instead of you crossing over and doing that, what is what is the objection? You're not letting the damn uh, woman play in the WNBA. Come on, I mean, in the, I mean, I'm sorry, in the NBA, because you know, you know, she's not strong enough. So you created because uh, there's some women ballers out there. So you create your own league. Now, what's wrong when it comes to this? That y'all got to do this type of stuff. Okay, y'all, let me know, family. Am I tripping? Oh, why am I straight? Cause this is too crazy. Could you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, um, and let me know what you think. No, because I, I can't. I just.